Hello YouTube and welcome back. Uh, please like and subscribe, that would really uh, help me out. But let's have a quick look at where we are up to on the refurb job. So this is part two and you can see we've been busy. We've taken out the steel frames and windows. We have added a little docking area for the, the little robot lawnmower over there. You can see him tinkering away doing his job. Um, we have got to weld up these steels, these are just propped at the moment but we've got to sort them out and you can see we've put an additional steel all the way under here that is then going to sit on this brickwork. The brickwork needs to be cut back there, I don't know why it's built a little, I think we moved it to gain a little bit more space uh, for the bifolds. You can see that we have added the roof. It's just got a temporary viswing cover on at the moment. We've started putting some MOT down on the slab there. Inside we have moved, removed the big wall, which makes a massive difference. It's opened it up. We have added a steel to support or to take some of the bounce out the floor. So from here, this is a, a much lighter, bigger area. And then moving on up to upstairs. As I mentioned last time, we were in conversations about having a steam room and a sauna, and they are in the process of being built. So if we stand back over here, you can see we have the sauna at the end there which is going to have a glass frontage and then we've got the steam room which is all been done in hardy backer board um in order to or tile backer board should i say in order to stick the mosaic we've got the benches on order and the steam generator the steam generator is going to live up in the loft there um the sauna is going to have Two tiers of seating here and a, one across the back there. And then we're gonna locate the heater in that location there. So that's all being insulated, uh, as you can see. And then we batten it out. And then from there, the, um, the boards get fastened to it uh, to create the new, you know, the new finish. And in here, that just gets directly tiled on top of. Then if we come over into the bathroom area or shower room, so we've built this stud room uh, wall. We've put, this is only a temporary door by the way, we've put a door in, in this location as it was over there before. We have fitted a wet room shower tray and we've hardy back at the existing floor. We are gonna have a concealed con system this is the um, sink taps and obviously the waste. So yes, everything is coming on lovely and we'll touch base when we're a little bit further on. And hopefully we might have something a bit more exciting to show you with regards to the steam room or the sauna. Catch you next time. So, the guys have come to tile the sauna today. As you can see, we've installed the seating and it's all glued back and in place. And we have got all the joints taped um, on the tile backer board and painted in this blue paint. We actually run out of this style and that's why we've got this self adhesive tape. So we've got a little bit of a mix going on, but it really doesn't matter. They both serve the same purpose, but this is it prior to tiling. So you can see that we sealed the floor. If we come into the sauna area, they're gonna put the, they're gonna fully tile the floor in there and everything is gonna be clad with all the timber, which is over there. Um, so, the other thing that the tilers are going to be doing today is they are going to be tiling this wet room floor as well, which we have also used the adhesive sealant tape around the bottom. I think these walls are actually going to be Venetian plastered as opposed to tiled. So 
Uh, we're just waiting for confirmation on that. But, well, we haven't got the tiles for them, so I presume it's happening. So yes, that's pretty much everything. We'll catch you uh, when it's been tiled.